Hello, my name is Jay Alexander and I'm a lecturer at South Essex College. I'm a 3D artist and have been teaching computer games development for the last decade. Though over the last two years I've been heavily involved in planning a brand new course which I think is going to be amazing called a T-Level. The T-Level I've been planning is aimed at the digital sector and it's called Digital Production, Design and Development. This is going to be a fantastic course for anybody interested in making apps, software, tools or games. The T-Levels are a new wave of qualification. They're aimed to cut down some of the confusion that currently exists for post-GCSE education. There are a lot of qualifications right now and knowing which one is going to get you to your dream job with the skills and the knowledge that you need can be really tough. T-Levels have been designed to mirror the A-Level standards ensuring that students are getting the best education possible and employers and parents know exactly what they're getting from their time in college. So, a little bit about the T-Level. The T-Level is a two-year study program equivalent to three A-Levels and it allows progression onto university, employment, as well as higher level apprenticeships in a related field of study. The qualification merges classroom-based study with a substantial amount of work placement, with a local employer lasting 315 hours. So this is building on the successes of apprenticeships. This is going to give every student the opportunity to build confidence, build a relationship with an employer, and provide opportunities to apply their learning in a working environment, maximizing their chance of maintaining a job once they land one. So who are these courses aimed at? At the moment, the T-level is aimed at school leavers who are 16 to 19 years old, and already have a GCSE at grade 4 or higher in English, Maths and ideally a relevant field of study to what you want to study at college. Though you could compensate for this with a portfolio or evidence of your passion for this industry depending on which sector you're applying for. So, a little bit about the digital T-level. Again, it's a two-year course with a mixture of learning in college and in a working environment the course leads on to a range of jobs in the digital sector, such as apps, games, and software development, tools programming, software testing, and application support analysis, just to name a few. Though job roles that benefit from the taught content go far beyond just software development and games. A lot of businesses have digital infrastructure, which requires digital technicians to keep them running smoothly efficiently and safely. Examples of such businesses include banks, logistics and the NHS. In terms of what the students would learn with us over the course of their T-level, the content on the course has been designed in collaboration with some of the country's biggest employers such as the BBC, Siemens, BT, Cisco and Nationwide, as well as a load of others. Based on the skills that they feel that students must have in order to secure an entry position in their own companies. The topics covered will include core concepts of things such as ethical design in response to society's growing digital dependency, understanding the range of data types that exist within a digital production, as well as how to analyze and structure data in order to further a project. Whilst working on live briefs, students will problem solve with a focus on planning and designing apps in response to a company or a client's needs. And whilst, work, whilst producing these projects, learners will be taught industry standard languages such as Python and C languages. So, how will a week look for you while studying on a T-level with us? You'll be in college for three to four days a week and one day with an employer. Though we wouldn't expect you to start a work placement until late in the first year or potentially at the start of your second year. Once you've built up enough skill to undertake a meaningful position with a company. The on-site content taught by your tutors is broken up into three distinct categories. The core knowledge, which will be assessed through two exams at the end of your first year. This will be summarized as all of the theory which is needed to succeed in all of the digital sectors. It's not specific to a single industry. It's something that any digital technician needs to know. An employer set project that aims to simulate working in the digital sector for a piece of coursework, producing a product which meets a specific problem. This is set by an external agency and throughout the year we'll prepare you for this by running smaller 
four week projects to prepare you for this working method. And the third category is your occupational skills or performance outcomes. This is the doing, the skills and actions that you need to be able to perform in order to meet the needs of an employer, adapting the knowledge you develop through your core knowledge and putting it into practice. Our plan is to start each week with a new topic or subtopic, exploring it together and applying it to mini projects which last just a few weeks, providing opportunities to revisit previous topics and overlay a new understanding to create increasingly complex projects. So, how is the T-Level going to set you up for life? The T-Level promises to be a real standout qualification that employers can trust to be relevant. After all, they help design it. The qualification has the same value as three A-Levels and is accepted by universities. Though the real value in this qualification is the fact that after completing the course, you should have a significant entry on your resume already. If you make a good enough impression during your placement, you may even have a job offer already for you when you leave college. So, if you're interested in applying or exploring T-Levels further with one of our tutors, please put in an application at www.southessex.ac.uk forward slash T hyphen levels. Alternatively, you could submit questions to learning at southessex.ac.uk